the pumpkin patch today. We're in the cantaloupe patch today with Bob Martin and Belgrade. So, Bob, tell me, what is the key to your soil here with these cantaloupe? The soil of these cantaloupe, uh, they prefer a sandy loam soil that is quite rich. And uh, it's, it's the same, similar to a good garden soil, except it's well drained and it's rich and has plenty of uh, nitrogen and uh, phosphorus. Okay. And that's what uh, the secret is on the uh, growth. But isn't growing cantaloupe a little bit tough here in there? Yeah, there's uh, a little technique that I use that, uh, that works well for me, and uh, I find that I stop these cantaloupe in the house oh. in, uh, around the 15th of May. And I'll give them about uh, 10 or 12 days in the house in what the, the commercial product of a Jiffy 7 cube. Mm -hmm. And then I'll bring them out and put them in the ground. Okay, so uh, give them a jump start in the house. In the house. Okay. And to get the ground ready, I, uh, I put all my nutrients in the rows. Okay. And then I put the black plastic down. Yeah, I noticed that. I don't know, this black plastic good. is uh, one of the keys to getting the ground warm. Mm -hmm. Now that ground is... So not only does it help keep your weeds out, but it's keeping it the ground, keeps the ground warm okay. early in the season. Yeah. So then uh, I'll bring the, uh, the small plants out and set them. I'll space them anywhere from 18 to 24 inches apart, yep. a single plant. The minute I get them in the ground, then I put a, uh, they call a floating or a polyester fabric row cover mm -hmm. over the top of the plants and that gives them some more extra heat oh, and protects them from early frost. Mm -hmm. and that is done generally by uh, by around the 1st of June, and we can expect frost in June. Tent over. And they, I have some supports that hold the, the uh, polyester fabric up over them, and that gives them a support and some warmth. How close are they to being harvested now? Well, these here are probably uh, two weeks from being ready to harvest. In this patch here, I have about 11 different varieties in different seasons. What's this variety? And this here is a bush type cantaloupe, so a sugar bush, they call it in this. It's about the extent of the vines in this area here for the others. The others are more of a massive vine and they take up more space. Yeah, now what if your vine's like going crazy and really getting out of, out of range? You just let them go. Oh, let it go. Let them go. And they, uh, so the more uh, foliage you get, the more uh, energy is put back into the fruit from the photosynthesis process. It takes, so you want the foliage? You take the foliage to make the photosynthesis to bring the sugar back into the fruit okay. and, and so forth. So you try to get as much foliage as you can and to enhance that with the high nitrogen fertilizer. So should you knock a few blossoms off maybe if you're really loaded? So no, I don't, I don't prune there. at all. I'm, uh, okay. with all the, well about a, maybe a quarter of the blossoms are the blossoms that set on the fruit and the other three quarters of the blossoms are the male blossoms that, Oh, have the pollen to pollinate the fruit. Well, we've been picking cantaloupe today, Bob. This one was ready today, but I've heard some wives' tales. You know, when I'm in the grocery store in my own garden and I get a cantaloupe that looks ready, knocking on it, is that the key, or smelling this part, or what's the key to knowing The key, it's the key to uh, finding a real good cantaloupe is uh, the two parts. Well, one is the smell, mm -hmm. and then you, uh, well, maybe three parts. Another part, you look at the uh, end where it was attached. The, cantaloupe is attached. And if that has apparently come off easy, then that sign it was right. Another thing is the better cantaloupe have a coarser webbing on the outside oh. and they they all will turn a little bit orange when they're ripe. But mm -hmm. the, if you're looking uh, to buy cantaloupe on the market, you'll find one with a fairly coarse webbing. Okay. Unless you're looking for honeydew. So, the honeydew is smooth. Yeah. Yeah, forget the webbing of honeydew. Honeydew, the honeydew is smooth. <laughs> So knocking out it has no difference. It makes no, a difference. Uh, if you knock on them, you probably will pick up a, a hollow sound if there's space between the seeds and the and the fruit itself. And if somebody knocks back, put it back, right? If, uh, somebody, <laughs> if somebody looks at you, you put it back. No, no, if I knock on it and somebody knocks back, then yeah. I'm in big right, trouble, right? There's right. somebody inside. Yeah. <laughs> but that's, uh, this is uh, Athena. It's one of the newer varieties of cantaloupe. I tried it. Uh, several years ago and now it's on the market you can buy the seeds in the catalog and it's one of the nice nice cantaloupe. So if you've never planted cantaloupe you might want to try it this year so get out there and get growing. <laughs>